We're doing a collab. We're doing a collab. Doing a collab. I'm a dork. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. I am doing a collab today with Megan from Thrift Kid and Emily from Emily Plus Three. And they are such awesome new YouTubers. You guys have got to check them out if you don't already know them. Emily, she and her three, her husband and her three kids, they are on the beginnings of their debt-free journey and they are they are doing such an awesome job. She is one of my sounding boards when I don't know, like recently I asked her a couple of questions about some of my videos, what her opinions were, and I can always trust her to be super honest with me and I so appreciate that from Emily. And then Megan, Megan, she just had a baby, baby, so cute. Oh, so adorable. I. She, her channel is super cool. It's, it's really inventive. She is going to take a, the process of having a child or children, you know, right now it's just a child, but maybe it'll be children. You never know. The cost of a child from conception to, I think 18, and she's going to track how much she actually spends. I think that is such a super cool concept. So make sure I, of course, will link their channels down below. So make sure you go check them out because I love them. I follow them all the time and they both have such happy, great channels. Let's dive into the collab. I'm seriously weird. I, we have been sick. I know I've whined about it before. I hate being sick. Hate, hate, hate being sick. I'm such a huge germaphobe that when this time of the year when everybody gets sick, I'm just like, no, stay away. I want to hide out in my room and, you know, spray Lysol around me. And I somehow managed to make it all the way to March with nobody in this household getting sick. And would you believe that I was the one who brought it to the house? I got sick. Two days later, my dad got sick. Two days after that, my mom got sick. Two days after that, Melina got sick. Today's collab is about how to stay motivated on the Dave Ramsey plan. It's hard. It's really hard. Now we've coordinated so nobody is doing the same things. So make sure when you're looking for ways to stay motivated, go check out their channels because they will definitely have different ideas than me. The first way that Mauricio and I stay motivated is we do our bean jars. We have these little counters and I know I've talked about them before, but for those of you who haven't seen that, we have these jars that sit on Mauricio's dresser and in one jar it has the amount we owe and the other jar has the amount we paid. And inside the jar, it is a little bean and it is for our largest debt because that one, we really like to see the progress that we're making. In each jar, each white bean represents a hundred dollars. And so every month in our budget meeting, we take out the number of beans for a hundred dollars. So if we were to pay $2,500 to our largest loan, we would take out 25 beans out of that the, the O jar and move it to the paid jar. And so that like tactile way of visibly feeling the debt being moved has really helped Mauricio and I both stay motivated. Now I will warn you that in the beginning, if you have already paid a lot on the debt, it might be a good idea to put the amount you started with and the amount you paid off already versus like day one of the Dave Ramsey plan. Cause those first couple of months when there's no beans in that second jar, it can actually be a little demotivating, but we didn't do that. Uh, that would be my advice to anyone who does it from this forward is take the total amount you started with and it's what you paid so far. But those jars really, I mean, really help us stay motivated. And we see them every time we walk into our room, they're fun. And of course, like everybody, we have a debt thermometer and our debt thermometer is large. And I know I've showed it on before and we debated about changing it because it was so overwhelming, but we're almost halfway on that debt thermometer. Now, granted, when I did the debt thermometer, I had forgotten about that whole interest thing. So I probably ought to redo it so it's more realistic because it is several $20,000 off or so, but 
for now it works maybe in another eight months I'll redo it and that again is something that we have in our dressing area and we see it every time we go into our room into our bedroom and some people put it on the fridge but since you know we live in my parents house we didn't want to do that and it's far too large for the fridge but every month at our budget meeting when we open our budget meeting we cross off what we've paid off to date and when we close our meeting we do the bean the bean jars the third thing honestly and it's super cheesy i know but when i'm not feeling motivated i look at melina and i think when she is 10 we will be able to teach her about finances we will be able for her to know the smart way to have your money and we will be able to tell her about our journey and our experiences and as we get older she can actually look at youtube and see the struggles we went through and we'll be able to tell her don't get a credit card don't get a bank loan don't get a car loan save your money we'll be able to implement the 401 dave program and if you don't know what that is that is a program that Dave created, Dave Ramsey created for his children, where when they turn 16, whatever they had saved up towards a car up to a certain amount, they would match. And so we'll be able to do that for Melina. We'll be able to pay cash for her college. She won't have to take out loans because we'll be prepared. So Melina is a huge motivator for us. Another really gigantic motivator for us is YouTube. And I actually will be doing a tag in a couple of weeks about this. I was tagged about staying motivated as a Dave YouTuber. And I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, YouTube is a huge motivator. Why? Because I am constantly watching other people's videos, where they are in their debt-free journey. But not just that. I know every month I'm going to have to tell you guys what I spent, what Mauricio spent. I know that we are going to be held accountable for what we spend and the decisions we make. And sure, we'll make some maybe not Dave decisions, and but we'll be accountable for that. And we'll be able to explain why maybe this decision is not necessarily Dave, but it's appropriate for us. So that accountability is huge. I mean, huge, huge. Number five, our dream meetings. Now, I being type A Wendy would like to put dream meetings on the calendar and talk about them, but Mauricio is not type A, not even a little bit. So I usually wait until I can tell if he's gonna be in a receptive mood to talk. And then we have our dream meetings and we talk about all the things that we wanna do. And, in, and sometimes they're impromptu like today actually Mauricio was watching a PewDiePie video where he was in Santorini which is one of my bucket list places to go in Greece oh it's so beautiful there and so we briefly you know chatted about how awesome it would be to go there and stay in the resort that he stayed in it was it, it, it just was a fun little you know four minute discussion that we had that is actually quite motivating number six one of the things that really keeps me motivated is my obsession with reconciling my budget. Historically, I have not reconciled my budget until the most recent time we've been on the Dave Ramsey program, and it is a game changer. If you are not reconciling your budget, you should be. And, and that's my little lecture. I'll get down off my soapbox now. It was like five words. <laughs> Love to reconcile my budget. Every morning, I log on my computer and I drag and drop my items from the previous 24 hours into the budget to see things that have been paid and um, it it works fantastically for me to keep me motivated because honestly if I don't think about the budget almost every day I probably would have a tendency to wander financially so that really keeps me grounded really keeps me moving forward it, it it's a super smart thing to do um, and not saying that I'm super smart, but that it's just a good idea, y'all. And then my last thing, number seven, I think, is the YouTube crazies. Now, if you don't know about the YouTube crazies, they are a uh, Facebook group that they are just awesome. They are the best group of people. And I'm one of the admin guys over there. And I love reading about people's wins and successes. So 
basically what the YouTube crazies are is the group of people originally created when Dave first started having live streams on YouTube there was a small group of us that would watch and we decided that we wanted to continue our conversations off of in another location and we wanted accountability partners and so we decided to create a very small Facebook group but we left it open to the public and it quickly grew and so a lot of people that hadn't normally been part of a Dave Ramsey group or maybe they were part of other Dave Ramsey groups basically came to our group to see what we were about those people in that group all of them I mean all of them they just keep me so motivated and anytime I have a Dave question I just get on there type it up and I guarantee you somebody will get on there and have an answer for me and they will be happy to help me figure out a solution to my problem and they will also question some of the choices that I make we do a report card at the end of the month and instead of actually making a comment I just posted a link to my end of the month February video and one of the guys got on there who's very smart very 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 smart he got on there and was like okay now why are you doing this and why are you doing this and why are you doing this and why are you paying six hundred dollars to have somebody do your taxes and you know and so it really you know I know he's coming from a good place so I wasn't at all concerned but I explained to him the situation and he was like well have you thought about this and no I hadn't and so that kind of stuff is super helpful so anyway those are my seven ways that I'm staying motivated on the Dave Ramsey plan and I'm telling you right now we're gonna do it it may take us a while but we're getting there I promise again make sure you check out Megan and Emily so send them some YouTube love they're both pretty new so check them out I'll see you in the next one see ya